Well, staying healthy this fall, top of mind for everyone. With the kids back in school, we're all looking for strategies to beat the bugs more now than ever, uh, given all the stuff we have to worry about. There is holistic pharmacist Sherry Torco's back in the show via Skype. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. Great to have you on and uh, very timely. Are there things we uh, can, should be doing, and maybe some things we shouldn't be doing in terms of protecting ourselves and, and, uh, and you know, improving our immunity? Right, and, and there are some things that make a big difference in how your body can resist infection. And I know a lot of people are concerned not just about cold and flu, but some of the other viruses that are going around right now. So you want to keep in mind that diet, fruits, vegetables, that should form the cornerstone of, of your healthy lifestyle plan because we get a lot of antioxidants through these foods, nutrients that fortify our defenses and support our immune system. So diet is really critical, getting enough sleep at night, because that is when our body is repairing, recuperating, regenerating, managing those stress levels, because when we're under a lot of stress, that actually hampers our immune function, and regular exercise, believe it or not, getting out for a brisk walk is actually good for your immune system. Mm -hmm. Now, we've heard about uh, vitamin C, and it's an immune uh, immunity builder, uh, and obviously we get it out of citrus. Are there other food sources we might get it from? Yeah, of course. Citrus is great, but also bell peppers are an important source of vitamin C, kiwi fruit, papaya, mango. Um, think of adding those foods to your diet. Berries, vitamin C is very high in strawberries, blueberries. Um, so consider adding those to your diet regularly. A supplement can help to complement your diet. I always tell people supplements are not a replacement. Mm -hmm. um, but if you are taking a supplement or for a child, make sure you look for an appropriate dosage uh, for an adult versus a child. And be aware that some vitamin C supplements can be hard on the stomach in higher amounts. So you're looking at an image there. Um, the, the vitamin C supplement you may want to look for is called Ester C. It's gentle on the stomach gives good immune system support. There's chewable tablets, capsules. And then also you're checking out their vitamin D rich foods, eggs yeah. and um, salmon and fortified tofu, even fortified orange juice can give you some vitamin D. Now what's the role that vitamin hard. D plays? How important a role does it play? Yeah, in so really important. In fact, there's more and more evidence showing that if you're deficient in vitamin D, it can increase your susceptibility to certain infections. There's even some preliminary evidence looking at the connection between coronavirus and vitamin D. If you're deficient, may increase your likelihood of getting sick and having a worse outcome. Canadians do need to think about vitamin D supplements because it's almost impossible to get enough through diet alone. So there's vegan yeah. sources of vitamin D and then you can get other capsules as well. Or through sunshine, it's still not enough. Yeah, well, we do get some through sunshine, although this week, yes, it looks great. Mm -hmm. But if we get the colder, darker months, not so much. And when we wear sunscreen, obviously that's blocking our ability to make that vitamin D. Yeah, um, there's a lot of herbs out there with all kinds of claims. Echinacea, for example, and uh, other stuff mm -hmm. like that, and elderberry. Where are we at in the research on that? Yeah, so there is good evidence that both the elderberry, the Sambucol black elderberry, and the Echinophorus echinacea have very broad spectrum antiviral effects. So these have been very well studied against cold and flu, showing they can help with pro both prevention and to speed healing if you do get sick. New preliminary evidence showing that they have even broader effects against other viruses um, in the test tube study. So that is encouraging. Um, I, parents will often say to me, you know, my, my kid seems to get sick a lot when we're back in school. I mean, kids are wearing masks now, so that may help. But these are things you can also look at giving them in a supplemental form uh, throughout the cold and flu season. So they're safe for two and above. With both the Sambucol and the Echinophorce, there are children's dosages, tablets, capsules, liquids available. Um, but I always say if you're um, taking any medication, you have certain health conditions, it's always wise to check with your pharmacist or doctor for advice on whether a product supplement or whatever is appropriate right. for you and to make sure you're taking it safely. Okay, and uh, for kids in particular, but for anybody, should, should we be taking like the echinacea, for example, throughout the season or when you feel something coming on? Right, so it can be taken both ways. Um, it does have Health Canada approval for a four months duration to be taken as a preventative. And some of the clinical research has shown when it's taken as a preventative, it does reduce the likelihood of getting respiratory tract infections. But if you do get sick, and it often starts with that sore, tickly throat, yes. congestion, runny nose, you feel like something's coming on, then you can take it acutely 
to help nip it in the bud to speed healing when you do get sick. And that's true with both the echinacea, the echinophores, and Fantastic. also the sandia call. Great help. Thanks. Timely help, too. Holistic pharmacist Sherry Torcos on Morning Live. Good to see you. Good to see you. Stay well. Not for not. Don't worry. Be happy.